Hello and welcome back to another Elden Ring DLC guide video. In this one we're looking at how to get one of the better armor sets in Shadow of the Earth Tree called Gaius's Armor Set. And you can technically get this as soon as you finish Castle Ensis, although you must defeat Gaius for the armor and he's extremely difficult to beat. And I'll show you a cheese way how to beat him if you prefer that. Let's take a look. We need to reach the church district of the Shadow Keep, and to do this at the start you must go to Morth Ruins, and there is a secret tunnel that takes you to the Bonnie Village. Then it's a simple path round the first location to the church district where the buildings are flooded with water. From the start, jump into the roof below and walk around and jump across the next one. Use the wall to reach the higher part and get to the second roof. Watch for the enemy here and jump across the diagonal post and reach the final roof with a hole in it. And you can drop down onto the stone rafters and then onto the ground. Run past the fire mages and take a left outside into a room with an elevator and take it to reach the specimen storehouse. Climb the ladder, it's a very long one, and take a right up the stairs. Walk around the bookcase and on the right hand side jump out the window and you can head up yet more stairs to reach the storehouse loft. Get in the elevator and take it into the wooden rafters, head left and head up the ladder avoiding all the bats as you go. Walk around and kill the bats here to be able to jump across and head straight back down the ladder in front of you. You can now jump onto a platform with a door leading outside where there's an elevator to take you down. From here there's a final elevator that will take you to the Shadow Keep back gate and this is where you need to fight and defeat Gaius. Now there's also a Skadu tree fragment here next to the Grace Point. Now Gaius is extremely tough, in fact I found him the most difficult opponent so far, but I guess it really depends on your build. I'm a sorcerer so it is a little bit tough because he deals a lot of physical damage and he's hard to avoid. Plus, I'm on New Game Plus as well, so if you're not, it could be a bit easier for you. However, there is a cheese to kill this guy because he gets stuck on a wall, and the best method then is to equip a fully upgraded Mogwine Spear, which every single person will have because you have to defeat Mog in order to start the DLC. And you can equip this with items such as Lord of Blood's Exaltation. All you need to do is trap him in the corners and use the Blood Boon Ritual over and over, and he should lose health pretty quickly. Now when he gets halfway in health, he will get stuck in the corners less, so then you should summon your Spirit Ash in order to distract him, and hopefully, if you're lucky, you can get him back in a corner to finish him off. It doesn't always go to plan, but if you're struggling to defeat him, this is the best method. We're not done here then, in the next section of this piece of the map there is an enemy riding a wolf and you must defeat him in order to get Gaius's greaves. Finally, travel to Roundhold Table and you can purchase the rest of the armor pieces from Two Fingers. Guys, that is it. That is how to get one of the best armors in Elden Ring, Guys' armor set. It has great damage, resistance, looks good, but it is tough to get. If you liked the video, subscribe for more Elden Ring guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.